Welcome back to River City Live. Now our next guest wears many hats, but only one tiara. Callie Johnson is the 2024 Miss Jacksonville USA, and she's here with us today in studio, getting ready to take the stage again. Callie, welcome to River City Live. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. I'm happy to have you because this is such a unique journey. And personally, being from the South, I've always loved pageants. I love the, you know, the preparation that it takes. I've never actually gotten to compete in one, but I'm always interested to hear about the experience. And so how has it been for you thus far in the USA circuit? It has been a really great experience. I have loved every second. Um, first and foremost, it's helped me get in tip top shape for the competition as I've been working with an excellent trainer who's worked with me on nutrition. And I've learned quite a bit from that experience about what foods are actually good for you versus the foods you think are good for you and how they affect your body and learning that actually 80% of your results are made in the kitchen. I never knew that, but it's been such a great experience just getting myself healthy and prepared with my interview coaching and my walking coaching as well. Because there are so many different facets. You know, we were chatting during the commercial break. There's um, the fitness swimsuit competition portion, the interview portion, and then evening gown, my favorite. Yes. Okay, so all of these different facets combined, and you're talking a lot about health and nutrition, which is fun because you also have your own sweets and treats business. So how did this parallel into that, making sure that you're creating things that are delicious and yummy, but also good for you? Well, I don't know that my baking <laughs> business is really necessarily good for you because it does have sugar Listen, and we're all, all about those balance bad here. things, <laughs> but we have to have a balanced diet, yes. right? So it's okay to treat yourself with some sweets. So I have my business, Callie's Collection, Cakes and Confections, and it started out as just making cakes for family members' birthday cakes. During the pandemic, I was really able to learn those skills, and I am a self-taught baker, so right now it's just a cottage industry bakery that's from my home, but I do plan to open a brick and mortar bakery someday, and I hope to use that as an opportunity to provide an opportunity for students or young adults with learning disabilities to gain work experience and to have a creative outlet. So one thing about me is I'm a teacher. I am actually a English teacher. I'm an English teacher. I teach seventh grade and I am an individual who lives with dyslexia. So I overcome obstacles every single day and having that creative outlet to be able to create cakes and also practice using numbers with the measurements has helped me overcome my learning disability myself. So I want to offer that back to younger individuals who are going through the same thing that I went through. I love that. Paving the way, um, I can certainly sympathize. I live with dyslexia as well. My team wow. will tell you and their scripts sometimes get flipped back and forth. <laughs> they know they need to check behind me, but I love the fact that you're paving the way for that next generation, the people that are coming after you. When you as a teacher get to see all of these things that pageants have taught you in terms of self-confidence, preparing for something, being accountable, how does that translate to your students? What do you think that's teaching them? Absolutely. That is a great question because that's actually my motivation behind entering this pageant is I know that while I am their English teacher it's also important to me to teach them to chase your dreams no matter what you face no matter what challenges that you're facing becoming an English teacher was a dream of mine and I have achieved that dream and now I get to maintain that dream every single day but I still have to overcome my obstacles right and so Another dream that I've always had is being Miss Florida USA and being able to represent the state of Florida on that Miss USA stage. And, you know, I'm, they used to have an age limit mm -hmm. and now they no longer have that. So I have allowed this to be my opportunity to chase that dream that I've always had. And that's what I want to inspire my students to do and others as well is to chase your dreams. Absolutely. Telling you anything is possible if you put your mind to it. So I love that they Absolutely. have that in a teacher. It's so important when you are growing up in the education system, having teachers that inspire you. So if you want to keep up with Callie, please do. We want to cheer her on so she can represent Duval on that main stage. She is always looking for your support here locally and on that national level. So Callie, thank you for yes, joining us. Thank you. All right, when we come back, we'll have a lot more River City Live, but first here's a look at our weather snapshot brought to you by Paramount Builders.